see that Jason has another scene in Drake and Josh that's never aired? That went during the credits? Wait, what? Guys, I have a second scene. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm, I mean, whoa, wrong video. Uh, this video is inspired from Jason's, well, I don't want to say, all right, I'll say inspired, but we did sort of come up with the same idea at the same exact time. We did. We, uh, Josh showed up at my house, we had the same exact idea, which is to look at old videos, and um, that chirping is going to be just great, so wow. buckle in. <laughs> yeah, enjoy that, um, <laughs> headphone users. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to we're gonna look at some of your old videos today, is that what we're doing? I can't under, or I can't overstate this enough, mm -hmm. Jason. This is my least favorite <laughs> freaking thing on earth to do. <laughs> yeah, you, you flipped out in my video. You, you actually got out of the chair. I'm not going to. I've never seen you do that. I won't be sitting for this. Let me give you a little insight into good old JP. Okay. Growing up, my mom, who has a beautiful singing voice, felt the need to sing all the time. Sure. Like, if we were at a Bloomingdale's and they had a piano player there for like some ambiance, yeah. she would ask them, hey, do you know any Tony Bennett? <laughs> and they would be like, I suppose, random lady. <laughs> yeah. and she'd be like, play it. Five, six, seven, eight. New York, New York. Wow. Like, I'm going to die. <laughs> and you would cut to Josh hiding under a rack of clothes. Yeah. So embarrassed. She has like six shirts on her arm. Ah. Just waiting to check out. But, but first, let me do a, <laughs> an old standard for you. I realize there's a shitload of videos of me when I was young. I mean, yeah, you have a lot. Too many. That's the price of fame and being a star. What a price it is. We're not talking Bitcoin, kid. <laughs> We're talking cold, hard, emotional cash. Did you get recognized today? Did I get recognized today? No. But can I tell a bit of an insider story that will make me sound somewhat like a douche? Mm -hmm. Forgive me, guys. Feel free to tear me apart in the comment section. No tea, no shade, no lemonade. Oh, I will. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I have another uh, sub-secret where I'm going to go on a tangent of a tangent. Okay. In the Vine days, when Vine stopped being fun because you sons of bees out there who were so friggin' mean and dark and racist and aggressive. Vine comments got crazy. Obviously, I cannot retort when people would be like, your mom doesn't love you, you've washed up, you look like you put a couple more pounds on, why can't you keep the weight off? Why are you doing Vine, Josh? You used to have such a great career. Exactly. You may have lost the weight, but we think you've gained some of it back. I mean, it's not nice when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> and my best friend, Len, shout out Len, love you, you're my guy, always, would attack them uh, uh, oh, from too. a fake username for me. Oh, wow. Right? And what did that cost? This is love and affection. Okay. Yeah. So you just give a little background loyalty. <laughs> uh, first tangent, last night I, because I'm one of those famous Hollywood types, yeah. spent the night with Post Malone. Oh, wow. How was that? First of all, the kid is just a sweetheart. Yeah. God, what a dream. That's great. Loved him. Anyway, he and his crew, and, and he couldn't have been cooler. And what I was fascinated by, Post Malone needs to have a moment, right? Sure. Like famous, talented, crushing, selling out shows. People would come up to the table. <laughs> and recognize you. And ask for my picture. <laughs> and I'd be like, ah, ah, ah. No, Post definitely got recognized more than me. Uh -huh. But there was definitely like, I'd be like, I haven't, I mean, I'm on David's vlog. Right. I'm on YouTube. Right. But let's be honest, there's been a fall from grace here. It's not how I saw my life. <laughs> I, I don't think people know what Post Malone looks like. Everybody knows what Josh Peck looks like. Guess, Handsome uh, AF. Yes, <laughs> apparently. Father to be. Uh, that's really cool. I'm, I, I've got just gotten into his music. A little late to the party, but I am 47, so. You're not 47. <laughs> I'm 45. I always like to age myself up. <laughs> Why? It just makes it more pathetic. <laughs> it's such a commitment to the joke. Yeah, it really is. God, this guy never skimps on the ha-has. Oh, Jesus. Wouldn't you know it, Jonah's here. You know I could be better now, better now. And We're I shooting a YouTube video for Josh Peck's channel. Are you dumb? Hi, Jonah. That's us the listeners, but... Hey, Jonah, you want to watch old videos of me when I was a kid? Yeah. There's one gem in there that I can't wait for. This video has become incredibly 
Uh, I've seen this. Yes, this has been highly shared. Uh -huh. People can't believe it. I was 16, it was a movie called Mean Creek. And while it's very shareable and people love to laugh at it, it's a really dope movie. And so I would say, have a good laugh, because it's quite good. And mm -hmm. we want some dance. Here you go. Okay. How are you doing on the weight here? Are you at the peak or are you coming? Looks like you're coming down here. No, no. Oh, no. I'm good in fat here. Okay. okay. Heavy set. So you look good. Thank you. Yeah, but I'm, I'm set heavy here. So we didn't invite you out here because we've been secretly in love with you all these years. What's that you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Don't change our minds because we like one of the Culkins. Wait, you you tricked me? Yes, we tricked you. And yes, all these suckers here changed their minds, but I didn't change mine. I'm a man who likes to follow through with his plans. Cool as ice. It's gonna be so cruel. What have you been planning? We were planning on stripping you. It's only one world with a neck and the world on naked. <laughs> Ta da! It's not funny. Oh, it's super duper funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, George. You're not sorry! I'm sorry. Is it even your birthday? No. You're a f***ing lying son of a Sam, alright? And I hope you f***ing go to hell. Whoa. Yeah! Whoa. 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 That's like a mini Oscars. That's crazy. That's wow. Good. That's just like a shot of you and Paige. I've seen that though. Look at Paige's hand. Um, do you ever think about your Oscar speech if you ever won? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to think about that all the time. <laughs> okay, guys, after you, all right, here, allow me to announce it. <clears throat> and the winner for David Dobrik, The Early Years, the Oscar goes to, oh my God, can you believe it? I love this. Jason Nash! Woo! Oh my God. And I did it by myself. No one helped me. Thank you very much. Woo! Good. So gracious. Sounds oh, good. Good man. Sound grateful. Jonah? Yeah. And now, the winner for Armenia, a country on its own. And the winner is. Jonah's speech would make no sense if you won an Oscar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nick Antonian. Wow. Oh my god. Nick, come up on stage. Come get your Oscar. Hey guys. <laughs> wow, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say. You know, it feels great winning an Oscar. I started up on YouTube. Thought I was once a failed actor, but now I'm holding an Oscar in my hand. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I, I love you all. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank, thank you to my family. Thank you to, to Jason, to, to David, to Josh, <laughs> oh, everyone. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Jonah, thank me. It's my dog. <laughs> My little brother too, Vardon. Stop it! He didn't even thank me. <laughs> Hi, it's Vardon, uh, Nick's brother. Um, f you guys. <laughs> okay, next video. Amanda. Show? Amanda. Oh, I know that Amanda. So good. God, she was funny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So they made me wear wigs for the show, but they can never find a wig big enough for my gigantic <laughs> melon head. Oh, uh, that's true. Is that a wig? Yeah. You think that's my hair? I don't know. I have long hair. I wish I had those red tones in my hair. That's a damn good wig. What are you doing? I mean, definitely heavy set, but I'm not a cute kitty. What are you doing really cute. You got something in your nose. So? I want it. Bro, it's so weird. I literally kind of looked like that when I was 13. Here in Wayne's, your snow day report. No snowflakes on the horizon yet. But keep those earmuffs handy, because winter's <laughs> just getting warmed up. While Wayne shows you us how to make perfect, it tasty. You have that perfect castable voice. It's just like a little voice, and you better watch out, because I might be f***ing <laughs> cute the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really funny, it's just the most perfect little... God, listen, people must have saw you and just... Big green dollar sign. <laughs> you know what I mean? My voice didn't change for a long time. It didn't? It's still kind of not. Sometimes people call me ma'am on the phone. Like they won't know that I'm a man. Yeah, I get that. 
Oh, this is like very weird. Okay. First of all, can, jacket. We, can we deal with the outfit? Oh my god, patchwork. <laughs> you look straight Armenian. <laughs> 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 I feel like I like broke into Steve Harvey's weekend closet. Yeah. <laughs> like who's singing in the background? Uh, we see a secret show, called our new show that comes out January called the Drake and Josh Show. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. And the drinks aren't doing much better. Yeah, it's on Nickelodeon and yeah, it's it's just, you know. good old fashioned comedy with hijinks and other things. <laughs> First of all, earring. Yeah. You have an earring? Your mom said when you wanted to get an earring. I think at that point I was so overweight yeah. that she was like, if there's anything that gives him confidence, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll do it. Let him have it. Should ask for a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Face tattoo? Yeah. I remember. <laughs> mom, I want to get a hamburger ring. <laughs> I remember getting it when I was 13 at the South Street Seaport in New York. Yeah. On the left side, and then at 15, still having not lost any weight, so I said to my mom, I'm like, how about the other side? Hey. <laughs> yeah. David! No! David! Oh, what's your drink for Josh? Yeah, look, look at this. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's basically a Keenan and Kale, Abbott, Costello, Martin, and Lewis kind of thing, comedy teams. We're stepbrothers on the show, and he's kind of the nerdy, wacky kid, and I'm kind of like, think I'm cool guy, but I'm oh, Crazy, bro. Yeah, that is that is really interesting. That's something else. What's crazy is that remember in the first episode of Drake and Josh, I was dressed up like a woman, Miss Nancy, and then I remember that the like reactions came back saying like, well, maybe this is kind of like not right for the character. But think how ahead of the times we would be. Uh, I was playing the first cross dresser uh, young person. Yeah. Breaking ground. I was Fifty two years old. Mm -hmm. Ew. Jonah. Jonah. Oh, you f***ing had Swedish meatballs at Ikea yesterday, David. You don't get any rights to shit. You had 40 Swedish Whoa. meatballs. Hit me on camera. Hit me. Hit me on camera. Hit me on camera. Good. I want it. Do it. I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> I'm just looking out for his health. You are not. You want, you want him nice and fat for your videos. <laughs> <laughs> More. What? Why did you only bring one? <laughs> no. Ah! Flamethrower always trumps everything. <laughs> How much mileage have I gotten out of this? Incredible. Yeah, it's wow. pretty good. So, I thought we could go all the way back to a year <laughs> and a half ago. <laughs> to one of my favorite bits from your vlog. I love, I love these sketches. This is early. Because sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're not. Just to give you guys insight. It's a crapshoot. This is two months into us meeting. This is about, what, five months into you working with David. Yep. This is like you in a not your best moment, chewing a lot of Nicorette gum. Yeah, no, I was down and out here. And it was like the dog days of winter. Yeah. It was like getting dark early in the day. <laughs> and we were just grasping, <laughs> grasping at shots. You know what? We were talking about this the other day. OC, that's off camera. <laughs> and I, we were saying, I was saying to Josh, I was like, oh, that's such an interesting time. And I was saying, yeah, it was. It was an interesting time. I like didn't have any money. I didn't know what I was doing. But we were. I was having so much fun. We did have a good time. Yeah, it didn't matter. I remember you would walk up. You'd be chewing eight pieces of Nicorette <laughs> yeah. to deal with. What was the going anxiety, on in your Fresh from a divorce. Driving your Explorer. Driving my Explorer that I couldn't afford. Freshly shaved head. Mm -hmm. North Face jacket. Freshly shaved head. <laughs> <laughs> at David's beck and call. Uh, not much has changed. Eating York peppermint patties and popcorn in <laughs> bed at night. <laughs> I still do that. So. <laughs> we kind of got you a group of women to audition to be oh, your wow. Don't be. Like yourself. This is you what we used to do sketches. sketches. My hair movie is Life is Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> God, that sounds hilarious. Actually, it's, a, it's about the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's about the Holocaust. <laughs> it's that's good. I want to be here. I want to be distracted. You know? I, I, had yeah. Yeah. I had my penis in popcorn once. I had a girl that wanted me to do that. <laughs> just got a hole in the bottom. I lived downtown. Oh, no. I, you want to hire a skank? I mean, she wasn't a skank. She was... She was actually a pretty nice girl. What's what this? this? It's Mahalo. It's a Mahalo. It's just saying goodbye. It's like, peace and love be with you. I know you're Hawaiian. Yeah, yeah Pacific Islanders seem to be slightly happy. Well, you seem to be slightly like a <laughs> 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 Comedy! <laughs> 
genius. No. And you get it for free in this untapped resource. Work with the best. We get him at a discount. I do put five ads on my videos. I wish we did more bits like that, because that's just so, that was so much fun to do, but nobody, nobody wants to do sketches anymore. That was special. That was really fun. Oh. Uh oh. No, stop. No. Subscribe. You see that Jason has another scene in Drake and Josh that's never aired? That went during the credits? Wait, what? Guys, I have a second scene. Dude, look at this, look at this. Look at the comedy here. You ready for this? Get ready to laugh, kids. Thank you, UCB. I'll give you 10 bucks to spill that glass of water on the guy at table three. Uh, sure. I, I, seen I think that's dubbed. Uh-oh, water! That's my friend who hired me. <laughs> Eric Freeman? Yeah. To the wrong table. Thanks for the update. That's so crazy that you guys interacted. One more, one more, one more. That's weird. I've seen that though, bro. That's insane. Glass of water on the guy at table three. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to break that accent? Yeah, because they were like, you, you go to a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they were like, you need to not sound like you're from New York if you're gonna audition in book stuff. Right, and I was Why not? like, what? Sometimes you ask questions and I'm just like, what? <laughs> well, I, well, 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 of course not. He's an actor. Well, we can't sound like he's from New York if he's going out for a part for a kid from California. <laughs> I've never met anyone like you in my life. God, <laughs> let's just make I'm this dumb. Look, look up, look up, <laughs> Nick. Don't ask dumb questions, Jason. <laughs> am I kind of stupid? 